planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organize Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and in today's episode of Create Art With Me, we're going to make some cards or actually we're going to make a card. Um, I need to make a card for my mother-in-law who just recently had uh, surgery and I just want to send her something to encourage her. And we're going to use supplies that if you are a crafter, um, then you probably have all these supplies, supplies here. And we're just going to use them and make something pretty without putting in a lot of time uh, because of what we have. So I'm going to show you real quick what we're going to use. So I want an envelope about this size, but I want to custom make it. And so all I did, so this is a solid envelope. All I did was I took another one because I had a bunch of these. They were from our wedding invitations and I just pulled it apart. I used to have an actual template of this that I make. I traced it on card cardboard and, um, and cut it out as a template, but I was cleaning out my garage a while back and oh, I just messed up my nail. <laughs> I was cleaning out my garage a while back and threw it away because I thought I would never use it. Well, that was not very smart. So, um, but I didn't uh, have a big enough piece of cardboard and I didn't want to reuse or use any of my really good, pretty card stock. So I just take the edges of this and we're just going to trace this. Hope you can see the whole piece. I'm sorry, there's an airplane. <laughs> We live really close to Air Force Base. My husband and I are both prior military and a plane just flew over. Okay, so we're gonna trace this. And then um, here are, move this out the way. So that's really easy if you guys wanna do that. Like I said, it's probably uh, works a little bit better if you trace it over some cardboard or cardstock. And then, you know, most of us have some different sheets of pretty paper, either in packs or individual sheets. So we're gonna use that and some scraps as well. So here's some paper scraps in yellow that I'm going to need to use for what I envision doing. And I have a couple of paper cutters. I have, oops, I have a big one here um, that is from Paper Studio. And then, um, and I like it, but I love this one. I don't know what company this is from. Actually, I can see it, it is, uh, exacto i really love this one because the blade is awesomely sharp but I, it's not big enough for full sheets but it is for smaller uh, pieces that i want to cut so i have that but you don't have to have that you can just use scissors um, and a ruler and then a corner rounder and again you don't have to have a corner rounder you can just use your scissors and i'm also going to have be using um, probably a ruler you can just use glue i will use a little bit of glue if i brought it Hmm, I may have to stop. <laughs> oh, no, I did. Okay, so I'm going to use some of this, which is some terrific, terrifically tacky tape, only it's an off-brand, to uh, secure some stuff, and I'll show you that as I do it. And some Tombow dual brush markers, which you guys, you know, here's an example. I've had tons of these. And I may also use some um, Zebra Mild liners. And, uh, of course, a pencil to draw around stuff. Um, and then here's the glue. Now this is some glue that I may use, which is some different types of tacky glue that I got from Dollar Tree in the Dollar Spot. And I've, I mean the Dollar Spot at <laughs> Dollar Tree. I've actually used some of this and it works really well. It's just not that much in the jars, but there's um, clear, they're all clear and transparent. One is supposed to be faster drying. Um, let's look in here and see. I've used a couple, this one's all purpose tot usage um instant strong and then the other one the, this one's supposed to be very very strong so anyway i've used that and it works well and uh this is some uh, diy ephemera that you guys may have seen me make on a previous video and some i also have some that i bought at the store and i think that's it now you don't you don't have to use all this but i'll show you as i get started you'll see what i'm going to be how I'm going to be using it and it'll give you some ideas and so I am going to speed this up and then we'll talk about it at the end.
Okay, everyone, here it is. And I want to explain, explain a couple of things I um, didn't remember to tell you in the beginning, and I'll show you as I go through it. But these are compression gloves. I uh, just helped me not have to not have stinging pains and discomfort later when I've been working doing needlework or doing a lot of cutting with scissors. Okay, and then also on the template for the envelope I forgot to tell you about having something really heavy that's what I like to do is have something heavy sitting on top of the template so that when I trace it I don't have to use clamps and then move the cl clamps as I go along I just kind of you know trace around the heavy object and what I used was a set of 10 pound ankle weights <laughs> okay and so here is the outside of the envelope all right and here we go um, on the outside and the inside now whenever I uh, mail this I'm actually going to mail it in an in one of the you know six by nine mailer envelopes and I'll just put a sticker one of the gold heart stickers that I'll show you in here in a second um, to secure it so that it can stay pretty and not be torn when she opens it okay and then here's the card and I think it looks pretty here with this envelope especially when you kind of open it and lay it lay it down like that now this is I need to shape this a little bit here we go because the top of this card is not as thick as the bottom so we've got we are praying for you mom and I had a little mistake there if you noticed uh, from some smudged ink so I just covered it with uh, the gold heart sticker and um, also I made it too long at first if you saw that in the video and I trimmed it down and then when I stuck it down that terrifically tacky tape is really strong and works fast so I had to be really quick in moving it to make it fit where I wanted it to okay and then here's the inside now what I should have done I, I mean the watercolor effect is still good enough here but what I should have done is what I saw boho berry do in a video where she just um, put the the Tombow on a plastic bag and then sprayed that and then damped uh, push you know turned it upside down and pressed it on the paper okay so uh, there is the inside and this is where we'll write down the things that we want to say to her and uh, here's the very back and I like that it kind of is you know going around the side okay well that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope it gave you some ideas on how you can just use you know your scrap paper and some glue and stickers and and uh, markers and make a nice card all right you guys please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I want to remind all my subscribers that you get an additional discount from my Lucinda Dory planners Etsy shop and that discount is in the comments below and also I'm trying to reach 1200 subscribers this year I think I was at 862 something like that last night I haven't checked in the last day or so um, and so be sure and tell your friends and family and share this so that they will subscribe if they like it and until next time everyone happy planning